Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Good morning. The Mass intention is for Maureen Zomora, requested by Victoria Pengent. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Maria Goretti, a virgin and martyr. We know the story of this 12-year-old uh, uh, saint, very young. Uh, she really fought uh, the man who stabbed her to death. She fought for her life not to be succumbed to, uh, to rape. And this young uh, saint, when she was dying, as we know, she prayed for that asylum and she forgave him and actually he was, he was touched also he became a very good holy man and at the canonization of St. Maria Goretti uh, he was there also in attendance uh, that is the way we learn from the saints their lives is our life today how do we continue to carry on with the mission and the spirit of Christ wherever we are in our relationship with others. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and in what I've failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, 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 Christ, have mercy, Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, mercy, mercy. Let us pray. O God, author of innocence and love of chastity, we bestowed, who bestowed the grace of martyrdom on your handmaid, the Virgin Saint Maria Goretti, in her youth. Grant, we pray, that through her intercession, that as you gave her crown for her steadfastness, so we too may be firm in obeying your commandments. Grant this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unit of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. 
reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Israel is a luxuriant vine whose fruit matches its growth. The more abundant his fruit, the more altars he built. The more productive his land, the more sacred pillars he set up. Their heart is false, and now they pay for their guilt. God shall break down their altars and destroy their sacred pillars. If they would say, we have no king, since they do not fear the Lord, what can the king do for them? The king of Samaria shall disappear like foam upon the waters. The high places of Avon shall be destroyed, the sin of Israel. Thorns and thistles shall overgrow their altars. Then they shall cry out to the mountains, cover us, and to the hills, fall upon us. Sow for yourselves justice, reap the fruit of piety. Break up for yourselves a new field, for it is time to seek the Lord till he come and rain down justice upon you. The word of the Lord. Seek always the face of the Lord. Seek always the face of the Lord. Sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Seek always the face of the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. Seek always the face of the Lord. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. Seek always the face of the Lord. of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus summoned his 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The names of the 12 apostles are these. First, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew, James, the son of Zebed, and his brother John, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, and Matthew, the tax collector, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, Simon, the Canaan, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus. Jesus sent out these 12 after instructing them thus, do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, Make this proclamation, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord Seek always the face of the Lord. That's what we chant in the psalm this morning. And that was the relationship that Israel and God had. 
God, when he made a covenant with the Israelites, he told them, you are my people and I'm your God. And always in that covenant, the Israelites were supposed to seek always the face of God. You and I and every Christian who baptize the same like the Israelites, we have the covenant with God through the virtue of baptism. We became one with our Lord Jesus Christ. We made a covenant to seek always the face of the Lord, to remain faithful to him in our relationship with him, and is always faithful to us. But like we have heard from Prophet Hosea, the fruits and the thrives of the uh, Israelites was going well every time they kept that relationship with God. But as soon as they move away, things were not good in their lives. And they were reminded by prophets always to come back to God. Because even though they moved away from God, God was going after them all the time, like he does for all of us. God does not want anyone to get lost. He wants us to be with him always. That's why I seek always the face of the Lord should be part of our lives. Whenever we move away from him, we have to know the Lord should be always in my life. And we have to seek him. And we are seeking him because he wants you and I to help all those people who are lost to bring them back. When we are with him, we can be the apostles today who can go out like Christ is saying, giving us the authority over unclean spirits. And clean spirit is the source of evil in this world. And that's what God, Christ wants you and I to be his apostles, to be his disciples, to help him like he has told his disciples, go out there and find the lost in the house of Israel. What Christ is saying, uh, evangelization or good news begins where we are. We cannot go far away because even where we are, there are people who need him. There are people who have lost the face of the Lord. And we begin where we are in our homes, in our relationship with others, in our communities, and then we continue to expand. That's the meaning of saying, do not go far away. Do not go start with the Israelites because they need conversion. And I think that's what the Lord is telling us. Begin with your family. Begin with your friendship because conversion begins there. Don't look out there. It is just there. And make sure that they understand the kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of God is within reach. And that is what Christ wants. Evangelization, good news begins with our friendships, with our family members, with our community, and then we go all over the county, the state, and the country. And that is what evangelization is all about because sometimes we look further and we forget people are nearby here, people who need to seek the true face of the Lord. So that's what it means because people say, why did Jesus did not want them to go further? Because they had to start in their home first and then go out. Cleanse your home and then go out. And that is the mission of the Lord. Today in our country, we, we see what's going on. Uh, 18 years old, 21 years old, they are killing people like animals. And then when you hear about these young people, nobody talks about their faith, that this one who killed belongs to the Catholic Church or belongs to the Baptist. They have no church. They have no faith. Nobody talks about it if you follow the news. The only thing we know is they have family and they belong to a school or to a college. But you don't hear anything that they belong to this church or that that is the message that we have to look at. These young people, they have lost the face of the Lord and we have to help them. We cannot be everywhere, but our prayers can be everywhere. We need to pray for these young people. That is what Christ is calling us. Go out there. You have authority over unclean spirits. Cure out the diseases and then you can transform others to seek always 
the face of the Lord. Let us stand and offer our petitions and all our needs to the Lord. May there be among all Catholics a renewed sense of their own Christian vocation so that they live their faith in the ordinary circumstances of their lives with commitment and joy, we pray to the Lord. May the church through the sacrament of anointing of the sick and the prayer of the community be an instrument of Christ's healing for all the sick in our parish and our diocese, we pray to the Lord. May we live this day with integrity, reap a harvest of kindness, giving witness to Christ's good news, and seek salvation for all people. We pray to the Lord. May those who are homeless or do not have stability of shelter find in all Christians and people of goodwill the care and protection for their needs. We pray to the Lord. May the example of St. Maria Goretti in honoring the integrity of her body and forgiving her mother from the depth of her heart, inspire youths and young adults to live with the same personal integrity with forgiveness towards others. We pray to the Lord. Eternal God, you have formed us into a living church. May the spirit of Jesus be alive in, all, in us all, for he is Lord forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of man's hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of man's hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. <clears throat> As we joyfully offer, O oh Lord, this day's sacrifice, recording the heaven sent victory of blessed Saint Maria Goretti, we proclaim by it your mighty deeds and rejoice at having gained her glorious intercession through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed Mother. Maria Goretti, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constant on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come, until you come, until you come again. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come, until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring out the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jacques, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O oh glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Amen, amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we are with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us now offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but on say the word, and my soul shall be healed. to work while it is day 
spreading the word of God as we walk along the way willing to do his will spreading the word of God till it reaches throughout the hills we must witness to everyone we meet and in every song we sing we must tell them of our soon coming King the harvest is plentiful but the laborers are few there are so many jobs in God's vineyard for all of us to do we must witness to everyone we meet and in every song we sing we must tell them of our soon coming King. We must work while it is day, spreading the word of God as we walk along the way. We must be willing to do God's will spreading the word of God till it reaches throughout the hills we must witness to everyone we meet and in every song we sing we must tell them of our soon coming King wish that him could be on the TV, on the radios. We must always preach. We must always witness, especially in this time. People need the voice of us Christians to stand up and witness. Let us pray. As we draw everlasting joys, O oh Lord, from our participation in this sacrament, and from the commemoration of the Blessed Maria Goretti, we humbly implore that by your gifts we may truly understand what you grant us to enact in diligent service through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a reminder, every Wednesday here we have uh, the exposition and adoration of the Blessed Sacrament every Wednesday from 9.45 a.m. to 10.45 a.m. So, we are encouraged to come and be uh, with the blessed uh, Christ in the Blessed Sacrament on Wednesdays. The Lord be with you. Yes. May the Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth to love and save the Lord and all his people. The Mass is ended. We were in Mass by singing this little light of mine, page 637 in our green hymnals. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, 
let it shine. 